Hey guys, uh, welcome to a little mini episode from Beer Culture Web Show. And I'm here with Justin and Trooper. I need a cool name like you, man. Justin's just not a, not a cool name. Are we gonna come up with a nickname for you during the show? That's weird. That's a lot of work. Yeah. It took a long time for me to come up with my name. I know, man. <laughs> I got it for some dirty biker a long time ago. So, yeah, good to see you. Thanks for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. Yeah. A little last minute thing for us to come out to this little mini episode for the people out there as we build the uh, following on yeah. the new beer culture web show we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're here at Coachella Valley Brewing, Thousand Palms, California, our first uh, local brewery. Mm-hmm. It's been open for a very short period of time, doing very well. What are we drinking right now? Um, I've got the Monument on Fire. And I think I'm drinking the Monumentous. Yes. Which is, tell us what the difference is. The, uh, the Monument on Fire is, uh, it's got papaya, mango, hatch chilies, and uh, habanero. And it's got just a little bit of a pepper pepper kick to it. Not too much to overpower the flavor of the beer, but just mm-hmm. enough to know to let you know that it's there. Nice. I mean, it's it's, it's really nice. good. It's really balanced. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite IPAs ever. Yeah. Yeah, Thank it's you. really, it's really good. And we got a little sample here of the, it's their IPA lager, right? Yeah, India Pale Lager. It's the, uh, the Bolstead. Um, it's, oh, that's, I mean, it's, it's excellent. You don't hate lagers. Yeah, I'm not a lager fan either, but that it. one I could drink. I that's could drink that one good. all night, man. That one's really, really good. You know, that's really good. That's very refreshing, very yeah. crisp, dry, mm-hmm. clean. Mm-hmm. Got a little bit of a hot back to it. Exactly. That traditional lager flavor is not overpowering. Yeah. This is, I think, one of the things that steers me away from lagers. Not judging, just saying. <laughs> and uh, there's another one out there that I really love. Uh, I don't know if you ever had the cream ale lager. Uh, it's a Mexican ale lager. Mexican ale lager. From Sarge, Sarge Bruce. I have it. Home it's I have pretty, it. It's pretty spectacular beer. But I really, I really like that good job. It's a great starter beer. Yeah, yeah, if you're wanting to come out, you know, start your day with uh, a fresh, crisp yeah. lager. Yeah. I definitely recommend this one. Yeah, and it's uh, it's only seven percent alcohol. I mean, it's not it's not really low, but it's not crazy high. No, that's a good so you could you could have a few of them, and, and you know you're not going to be passing out after two or three of them. So. So what brings us out to Couture Valley Brewing at Thousand Pounds tonight? Um, We're paint here night. For paint night. Paint night. That's what this is here. Yeah, and uh, so everybody understands what paint night is. Right? Trish Carpico has uh, brought out some guests to paint night here at Couture Valley Brewing in Thousand Pounds, California, and they are all uh, being taught how to paint this painting right here while drinking amazing craft beer. That seems like a tough challenge. So yeah, you I don't. Get tougher is the night went on. I yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'd be able to paint. It, yeah. I wouldn't be able to paint that even sober. So. Well, you know what? It's an awesome painting. I would hang that in my house. I like it very much. And uh, I know we're going to get a chance to, you know, look at some of the painting that's going on behind us, and get a chance to interview some of the artists that are painting, as well as the artists that are presenting tonight, Miss Trish, and see how that's going for them. Good deal. But I think we're shooting again tomorrow. Over at your house, is that right? Yes, we are. Nobody knows what uh, what beers are going to be doing yet, but there'll be nothing short of spectacular, I'm sure. That's right. I know what mine is, but I can't tell you. I know what mine is. And you can't tell me. Actually, I know, I know which ten I'm going to pick from, but I'm not going to tell you yet. Yeah, so. but we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Your, your obsession of uh, beer hoarding. Yeah. Your beer hoarding. Yeah, my collection's a little low right now, man. I'm working on building it, <laughs> building it back up right we'll now. We'll talk so. about that tomorrow. For yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. All right. I know Levi's going to be there. It's going to be awesome. See yeah. Him and his and his, and his beard. And his beard. Yeah. And his beard are both going to be there. Yep. Very cool, Levi. Bring your beard. <laughs> I think we should just every time we have him, we should make him shape his beard into a different shape. Every yeah. Time. Yeah. Like sideburns one time, and then a Fu Manchu one time. Because I'd be envious, and it would just like it would take away some of my pain as being a non-beard human guy, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, he's gonna have to grow some more beard for you know for the things that we're gonna ask him to do for it. He but, needs some beads hanging in the whole time. Yeah. Some bones. Yeah. Bird bones or bird skull. I mean, he's got to make up for the fact <laughs> that you and I can't grow a beard. I know, so. right? Yeah. He, he's our he's beard got envy. he's got his work cut out for him. Beard envy. Yeah. It's the worst thing for a man to have. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> I don't envy people that have to shave every day, at all. I think he would have to shave like three times a day if he was going to shave. Yeah, he's got five o'clock shadow, like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. 
All right. Well, thanks everybody for uh, watching, and uh, we're gonna do a little more shooting with some of the guests here at Paint Night. Uh, here at Coachella Library, Fast Falls, California. We're on uh, your web show, and we're here tonight with Trish. Hi. Trish, how are you doing? Thanks for having Good, us. Good, thanks, Trooper. And you, as I understand it, are a uh, practitioner for paint, paint Night, right? Yes, Paint Night. That's my company. Okay. Explain to us what Paint Night is. Paint Night is a new phenomenon uh, that started about a year and a half ago. It's referred to as social painting. And what I do is I bring in everything you need for a night out. Um, at a bar, restaurant, to paint and have fun. So basically, it's not really technically a teaching class, it's a party. So what we're doing is we're all painting tonight beer bottles, and we have a bunch of different things we paint. Every every night it's a little something different. And, you know, it's great. You meet new friends, you, you know, talk, and it's a great girls' night out, a great date night. Um, we found that a lot of guys have figured this out, that usually at paint nights, depending on where I have them, there are a lot of very good looking women, especially down here in the valley. And guys are cruising and meeting women, because it's not so skeevy to do this, you know, at a paint night. It's like, oh, let's go there, and it's pretty funny. We'll have guys come out of other parts of the restaurant and bar and come cruise the, the paint night and start talking to women and go like, oh, it looks really good. Then all of a sudden the girl's boyfriend will walk and go, hey, you know, no, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, so what, what made you choose Coachella Valley for your Well, actually, um, it was very serendipitous. Jamie, the, one of the owner's wives, she's in charge of special events here. She attended one of my paint nights at another venue, and she had a blast. I, and, you know, it was a lot of women. There are a few couples. And at the end of the night, she approached me and asked me if I would be interested in coming to her place. And I said, yeah, sure, you know, well, what's the name of your place? And she told me, I was like, of course I would, this is perfect. Yeah, and um, so, and actually I'm really excited about doing this here because I've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of my, my regular painters that, you know, their husbands or their significant others work in the evening or have to babysit the kids. You know, we'd like to do this as a couple's date night thing. So Jamie was great and I suggested to her, I said, hey, you know, how do you feel about filling this up on a Saturday night with couples once a month? So she's totally game. So we're going to start in January doing couples night. And we're actually doing more, I guess because of the venue, I'm doing more male oriented type paintings, more sure. male interest paintings, like the beer bottles yeah. and, and um, the, the one for, you know, just different things like that. So, and I'll probably do the cell boats here too. So I'm, I'm trying to cater to all the groups. And, and there was a double-edged sword to coming here because, you know, I think Jamie's really great. And I, I said, you know, I think this will really work well because Guys will, you know, guys will be bringing their significant others here or what have you. It's like, oh, babe, you've been to the brewing company. Remember, we did paint night, and they'll say, oh, go, go. So it's a hall pass, you know, for the guy. It's an instant, it's a built-in hall pass. So I think it works all around, and you know, the, the girlfriend or the wife gets to bring her guy in, and you know, he's not going. Oh, I don't know, it's going to be all, you know. So I think this is the perfect type of venue, and you know, there's plenty of parking. Number one, and it's not too far off the beaten path, and it's actually a lot more central to a lot of people in the valley than going into other areas of the valley. So, so where else can they find you for paint? Night? Um, you can go on paintnight.com and use the cool down Palm Springs, and you'll see the different venues that um, I do paint night. Um, anywhere, all over the valley. So, like I said, we do a happy hour for folks that don't like to drive in the evenings. At um, in Indian Wells over at Don Diego's and one of my longtime supporters has been Azul in downtown Palm Springs and I'm usually there on Thursday nights or every other Thursday depends on my schedule and their schedule we get a wild very fun crowd down there um, it just really depends on the venue I think if you're looking for more um, close-knit attention as painting I, I definitely recommend going to Don Diego's it's a, a little bit more no it's a very mellow crowd if you want a fun silly drinking good time painting time you definitely want to go to Azul or Jackalope here this is our this is just a small private group so it's gonna get there because I'm gonna be hosting couples night here and for families I'm also gonna be having on first weekends with the city of Palm Desert over at fix a dessert house we'll be doing family painting so it won't be as booze oriented, but uh, we will have that. And then um, that'll be on uh, Saturdays. And then on Sundays, I'll have a day, again, that first weekend, adults only painting.
and hopefully we'll have you bring in some of your craft beers. Yeah, and my co-host. Right, your co-host. And for coming up with beers that you really just can't get in the surrounding area. Yeah. And we'd love to come in and do a beer tasting and what that place has, like a dessert or a cheese or something they want to pair. Uh -huh. We'll come in, we'll bring a beer, we'll go in, we'll set something we have, we'll pair a beer with that, we'll bring that beer and try it out. Yeah, um, that's going to be great. One of the other questions is, how do we get a copy of the uh, beer bottles? I totally want one of that for my bar. <laughs> um, you <laughs> can have one. Um, in fact, you can take uh, one of these. So, well, thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Thanks for choosing us yes. here in the Coachella Valley. Thank Enjoy you. Your My pleasure. We love anything that's you know, local. We like to drink local. We like to drink fresh. Yes. We like to build any kind of local business. You got a great little crowd. It's a small crowd. But yeah. They're doing awesome. We love yeah. some of the things you're doing. Yeah, we had a few people calling sick tonight, unfortunately. But it's uh, going around. Yeah. It's a tough, it's a tough one. So. Yeah. So, okay. All right. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, Kirsten here from the Paint Night at Coachella Valley Brewing in Thousand Pumps. She's going to share with us how the event's going for her so far tonight. How's it going? It's awesome. You get a drink and express your creative side. At the same time. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Can't go like wrong your, there. Like your version of uh, beer bottles. It looks very, very cool. I think you have it turned yeah. upside down. It right is now. upside down right yeah. now. I'm very not nice. done with it yet. <laughs> no more work to go? Yes. Very good. So how was your first paint night? awesome i want to go next month or next week okay. <laughs> yeah. and next week you'll be drinking something different you're lucky tonight you got to be smart there was craft beer yeah this is awesome it's it's really cool to see like the different ingredients that they use locally very cool that was fun to check out why do you incorporate so many hearts into your paint i noticed you don't want to far with all the hearts around your bottles <laughs> um Probably because I'm a lover. I don't know. Are you good? We'll take that. We'll take that. I like to love. Sweet. So you think you're gonna do paint that again? I do. I want to yeah. definitely. Yeah, it's fun. It's really cool. It's something different, unique, and you know, I like it. Yeah. Very right, good. If you get a chance to track us down. We're uh, Beer Culture Web Show. You can track us down on Facebook. Definitely. You'll see yourself live on camera. When I track uh, paint night down, I will track you guys down as well.